Hi, right, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Easy Cap with a PS3 without using splitters. First of all, what you're going to need is an AV plus S video cable, which costs approximately £3. Um, the, you, need, you need a PS3 connector, which is this one here, and the AV components, which is red, white, and yellow and the S video which will plug into the easy cap also the white and red wheel and the yellow one will, will plug into the back of your TV also you will need is the obvious piece of equipment an easy cap with AV and S video connections the USB plugs into your computer and there's also and also most of them come with an extender in case it's a bit further away. There's the AV bit. That will that will not be used as the yellow will already be plugged into the back of your TV. The S video and the white and red will both be used. The first step is to plug the AV plus S video PS3 connect it into the back of your PS3 as I'm showing you now you now need to plug in the yellow component of your AV plus S video cable into your TV as shown Connect the remaining components to the easy cap, which is the S video, which is the black one. You make sure that the arrows match up so it fits in correctly. After doing so, you need to connect the red and white connectors together, and the yellow will be unused, as as you've already seen before. The yellow. AV component is plugged into the back of your television or in the, into the side. Now simply plug your easy cap into your USB on the side of your computer. You can use the extension lead at this point if you need to. You need to change the display settings on your PS3 as shown video output settings and display settings so you want to change it to composite slash S video and click change you will now need to change the the AV that you're on on your TV that's assuming that you were, you, when, were using a HDMI before if not if you're using AV you can probably stick with the same out input into your TV now check choose your TV type mine's widescreen so it's 16 by 9 and set the audio output settings which would be the audio input connector slash SCART and there you have it display settings have been changed finally all you need to do now is open up your capture software for me, as I'm on Mac, it's Video Glide Capture. And as you can see, you can see the exact copy of your PS3 screen from your TV. So whilst you're playing and recording, you're recording on your, t on your computer, sorry, and you're playing on your TV at the same time. Um, I also must add that you need to make sure that the audio plays whilst recording so you can hear the sound from the PS3 through your computer I suggest using speakers and putting them in front of your TV so it sounds like it's coming from the TV which it, which makes it easier to record gameplay and all you need to do now is change video and audio settings and you're ready to record thanks for watching and please subscribe 
click below to see the quality and easy cap can produce and links to the easy cap product and cable are in the description below